talking about this, saying, hey, can you sneak me a ticket, et cetera? Well, it's one of those things Coach tells us, you know, from the get-go not to worry about, just to stay focused. Um, obviously, this game's drawing a lot more attention. Uh, it's a big game, first league game, so a lot of people want to come, and you know we know quite quite a few people, so they're going to ask. But um, you know we can only control what we can. We only get four tickets, so um, just in, in regards to that, you know we just you know family first, and then uh, the rest they'll just have to find a ticket. What about the rest of you guys? Uh, same thing. Tim said. I, mean, I just got off the phone with my mother, uh, asked for extra tickets, but uh, <laughs> hey, like I said, like he said, Coach Fish uh, really puts in our mind that it's not that's not the main focus. Just take care of your family, and then everything will take care of his rest. The rest. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of uh, tough battles that we've had in the past, so we're familiar with each other uh, really well. Uh, fortunately, the last few games we've had the uh, upper hand, but uh, we know going in that it's going to be a battle uh, from the start, so we got to be ready for that. Can you comment on that? Yeah, there's definitely um, quite a storyline going on with, with this game coming up um, with the history of, of the two teams with last year, but um, it's also very different. You know, they're, they're under new, new coaching, new leadership. Um, we're a very different team than we were last year. Um, they actually have someone from our team on their team. So, um, you know, it's just one of those things where there's a lot of, a lot of familiarity there. So it'll be interesting. It'll be fun. You know, when you do mention that, when they take a guy like that, who's pivotal in getting guys like you to come, is that makes you feel like this guy knows our, our ins and outs better than maybe just someone who's played us a lot. Maybe he can say something that's going to cause them to have an advantage over you. Is that any concern at all? Uh, absolutely, they're going to know all our plays and everything like that. But uh, that's why we have to uh, practice different wrinkles uh, on different types of plays to make sure that uh, we can catch, up on, catch them off guard on uh, different things. So it's going to definitely be a little tougher this game. Tim, you've mentioned the, the Hudson factor a lot lately. Uh, is there any animosity at the way he, he left for, for a different job in the conference of, with your rival? Oh, definitely, definitely not. Um, I'm, I'm actually, I've known Coach Ed for a long time, um, since I was in junior high school. He's a family friend of mine. Um, very proud of him and, 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 you know, happy for, for what he's accomplished here and, and what he's doing in his professional career. It's, it's one of those things where you know him and now he's on a different team and he's an opponent now, you know what I mean? I'm proud of him, he's a family and stuff like that, but, you know, he's, he's a good coach. Now we have Tony Grant, he's Tony Bland, he's great. He's great for us, you know what I mean? It's one of those things where it's, it's part of the business. Somebody moves on and, and makes a career choice, and, and then we move on as well. For you guys, is that a little added incentive uh, to maybe beat him in the show? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, like uh, Tim said, he was happy, happy he was here for the time he was here. Uh, really, he really molded me to the player I am today. Uh, we had a special relationship. It was hard to see him leave, but uh, – when the game starts, he's just he's gonna be a, he's an enemy. He's UNLV uh, after the games talk and have talk about old times, but no, I don't see any animosity towards it. Uh, I'm oh, good. You got it. I would, wouldn't necessarily slow down the game when you're at home. Naturally, you want to run. You want to get get your crowd going and excited. So um, I feel like we run pretty well. You know what I mean. So it's like one of those things where oh UNLV, we want to slow down. Um, we're going to play our game, and then we're going to mold to the changes that, that they make as well on defense. Tim, do you think it's advantageous to start off the non-conference conference schedule against the UNLV top-ranked team before you maybe get to take on? Um, I, I do. I think it's definitely going to be a good starter for us. Um, you know, Obviously, you know, a lot of people would say we've gone through the easy stand of our schedule. We just got done with that. So this is a good test for us on, on Saturday. Um, it's going to be a great atmosphere, a great crowd. Uh, you, we'll, we'll learn a lot about ourselves after Saturday. Yeah, same thing Tim pretty much said. Uh, it's nice that we have a tough opponent in the beginning, uh, get all the uh, kinks out right away. And uh, like you said, we'll see where we're at early. Uh, yeah, it's just exciting for our league to see both two good teams playing in the first game. I mean, it's really going to show a lot of character for our team on what we've been working on for the last three games and in practice. And it's just, that's, that's going to be the test, the UNLV. And I just love that we're playing that caliber of team for the first game, I mean, for the first league game. It's just, it's real good competition. Uh, 
going from playing the easiest part of your schedule, the Christians, the Redlands, and all of a sudden you get the Eagle and team? Uh, I wouldn't say easy because coaches, the coaches have been preparing us all these last three weeks and practicing, just uh, practicing real hard, uh, acting, going in like it's UNLV. And uh, so it wouldn't be, it's not going to be hard, a uh, bad transition. So I'll say we're going to be ready. Yeah, we like playing uh, top ranked teams like this. So we're going to be ready when a team like this comes into our building. So regardless. Uh, I mean, the ball's going to be in somebody's hands who's ever making the, doing the best, playing the best at the time. I mean, it could be James, it could be X, Jamal, Tim, anybody. I mean, that's what's good about our team. We're very versatile. Uh, got many scores and uh, many weapons to attack from. So, it's ever working. If it's working inside, we're going to go inside. If it's working outside, we're going to go outside. So, uh, coach, coach is going to be the be the one to be calling, calling the play. So, whatever he calls is what's going to go. We're going to go with it. Well, I mean, first off, if you understand our league, then you know that it, it's never easy. You know, um, just in terms of going different places and playing in different elevations, and then the competition level is, is high. We have a good conference. So, you know, that these, this first week for us is, is going to be very big. Um, we do get what, you know, what, what is seen as the, the, the better two, you know, some of the better teams in our conference our first two games, and, and that's going to be good for us too, you know. Um, especially Saturday, we're going to take the momentum and go out into New Mexico. The pit is a very hard place to win in. Um, our team has had a lot of success the past few years winning there. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll be ready to go, but right now we're just focusing on Saturday. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, on film, he's a talented player. Um, rebounds his tail off. He works hard. Um, you know, it's one of those things where you know it's, it's going to be effort and intensity. Um, just show some mental toughness. Play smart. Um, game plan. And and it, good thing about basketball is it's five on five. So you know it's going to be one team against another team. Um, you know people have players that are special, but quite often you know a, a team effort can have, you know shut that down. You know. Well, it's never just, just one person. We've worked on a variety of things, um, scouting report on different players. Got a lot of talented guys on their team. Um, he's one of the guys that stands out statistically, obviously. But um, they got a lot of talented guys, even off the bench, that, that can contribute very well. Are you guys going to become uh, San Antonio's first fans at this point? It seems like uh, <laughs> Naturally. 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 Yeah. Team Spurs. Absolutely. Favorite team in the league. <laughs> <laughs> we're very excited for our guys. You know, it's, it's great to see that. Um, you know, Kawhi's playing playing hard as always, and then Malcolm getting pulled up is, is awesome. Um, just always, you know, happy around these parts for those guys.